collapse here. All right. In the impact segment tonight, there's a group called the Clarion Project, which is dedicated to exposing the dangers of Islamic extremisms. Recently, we asked Clarion to pinpoint for us five dangerous situations here in the USA. With us, Ryan Morrow, National Security Analyst for the Clarion Project. So you have many, many more than this, but we uh, picked the top five that I think will be of interest. The first one is in Hancock, New York, about 145 miles northwest of Manhattan. What's going up in Hancock? There's actually a place there called Islamburg. They have a sign that says, Welcome to Islamburg. It's about a 60, 70 acre large compound. And it's the headquarters for a group called Muslims of the Americas that follows a radical cleric in Pakistan. The videotape uh, that's on the screen is something that was given to me by law enforcement. So showing them engaging in guerrilla warfare training at that Islamburg compound. Okay, so Islamburg, upstate New York. They have weapons. It's private property. Right. All right. They're training on the property. Can the authorities do anything about it? Beyond monitoring them, no, because they're not listed as a foreign terrorist organization. Uh -huh. uh, FBI documents that we've obtained do show that they consider them a threat. But because they're not, they don't have that designation, they're able to operate in the U.S. And we have a do dozen. Do you know how many people are up at this compound? And that specific one, no, but the estimates of the number of members that this group has across the country, they say they have 22 of these places across the country, is somewhere around 3,000. Training ground, wow. All right, now we have the Dar el Hara Islamic Center in Falls Church, Virginia. What's going on there? Right, a history of radical leadership over there. Anwar al Awlaki used to be their imam before he went over and he joined Al Qaeda. Mm -hmm. And there was even videotape that was taken of the current imam speaking uh, recently in Virginia, where he specifically said that Muslims should be first in line to get the arms for jihad. All right, so at this center in Falls Church, there's an imam there presently. Right. Who wants to get arms for the jihad. He preaches that that is a requirement upon Muslims. Wow. All right. The third one is one I mentioned last night in Brooklyn, New York, with John Stossel. It's the uh, Masjid at Taqwa Mosque. What's going on here? That's led by Suraj Wahaj, one of the most radical imams in the country, yet he manages to be a rock star speaking at Muslim events across the country yeah, and even college be, campuses. He's going to be in Dallas this weekend in Garland, Texas, for a big conference. And I brought that up to the imam we had on last night, who didn't seem to think this guy was so radical. He didn't address that. He was addressing the issue of whether he's been prosecuted, which is a whole other thing. If you look at what he's been preaching, it's sheer anti-Americanism, turning America into a caliphate. And his mosque was even suing the NYP because they were conducting surveillance That's on That's right, it. that de Blasio pulled off. So this is a bad hombre, as I said to Sasa last night. Then there's another one in New York City. This is in Jamaica, Queens, the Islamic Circle of North America. What's this all about? Right, this is a major organization with origins in Pakistan with an Islamist group over there. Polls show that only about 2% of Muslim Americans say that this group represents them, but they're one of the most well-organized there. One of the leaders was actually indicted on war crimes in Bangladesh, and we have a copy of one of their teaching guys that tells Muslims to engage in deception in order to advance the jihadist cause and to implement Sharia governance. All right, then this comes out of Queens, right? This out of this mosque. This that's is the, that's the headquarters. That's yes. the headquarters. All right, and finally, and this is the most controversial one, you have CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations. And they've been on this program. They do a lot of media. And what are you saying, that they're a dangerous group? Yes, uh, they are basically a political influence operation of the Muslim Brotherhood, according to the Justice Department, not according to me. Uh, they specifically listed CARE as an entity of the U.S. Muslim Brotherhood, specifically its Palestine committee that was secretly set up to advance the Hamas agenda. And the FBI wiretapped their leaders in 1993, talking about setting up CARE so that they could influence the media in their direction. Well, and that's what they do. They come out and they say, look, we're moderates and uh, we just want to give you our point of view. But you say that they're directly tied into terror terrorist groups? Into the Muslim Brotherhood, yes. Which is and, a terrorist group. Right, and Hamas is the Palestinian wing of the Muslim Brotherhood. Okay. Um, now, final question is, this is pretty frightening stuff, but you would assume the FBI knows about all of this, if you know about it, and sure. the Justice Department is surveilling them and have them under control. And in a free and open society, this is the rest of them that we didn't talk about. This is the map that ha all of these have raz radical Muslim mosques or operations in all of those towns. And, and it's amazing. Look at them. Sacramento, outside of L.A., Pittsburgh, Chicago, uh, and on and on. So, my question is, 
Should Americans be concerned or is this under control? It can't be under control just through monitoring them. And again, when it comes back to the issue of the ideology, which President Obama refuses to recognize, yes. that's the problem here. It's not just about the person that's setting off the bomb. It's about the overall ideology that combines mosque and state, that justifies jihad anywhere. And we need Muslim leaders to step up and fight against those interpretations. The most positive news I've seen is the poll that showed that these organizations have so little support among Muslim Americans. Right. All right. Very interesting, Mr. Moran. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Directly ahead, President Obama.